Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study expanded polystyrene casting process, which is one of the other expandable mold casting processes. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Except sand casting, there are other casting processes that have been developed to meet special needs. The difference between these methods are in the composition of the mold material, or the manner in which the mold is made, or in the way the pattern is made. The expanded polystyrene process uses a mold of sand packed around a polystyrene foam pattern, which vaporizes when the molten metal is poured into the mold. Also known as, lost foam process, lost pattern process, evaporative foam process, and full mold process. The polystyrene pattern includes the sprue, risers, gating system, and may contain internal cores, if needed, thus eliminating the need for a separate core in the mold. Since the foam pattern itself becomes the cavity in the mold, considerations of draft and parting lines can be ignored. The mold does not have to be opened into cope and drag sections. We are going to observe the steps of expanded polystyrene casting process in the next few figures. The figure, 1, shows the first step in expanded polystyrene casting process, where pattern of polystyrene is coated with a refractory compound in order to provide a smoother surface on the pattern and to improve its high temperature resistance. The figure, 2, shows the second step in expanded polystyrene casting process, where foam pattern is placed in mold box, and sand is compacted around the pattern. The figure, 3, shows the third and final step in expanded polystyrene casting process, where molten metal is poured into the portion of the pattern that forms the pouring cup and sprue. As the metal enters the mold, the polystyrene foam is vaporized ahead of the advancing liquid, thus allowing the resulting mold cavity to be filled. Advantages of this process include Pattern need not be removed from the mold. The steps of incorporating cause and gating and riser system, the preparation of two mold halves with a proper parting line, allowances, etc., which are necessary for green sand molding are built into the foam pattern itself. Disadvantage of expanded polystyrene casting process is that, a new pattern is needed for every casting. An example of parts made with the expanded polystyrene casting process is automobiles engines. So, we have studied expanded polystyrene casting process, which is one of the expandable mold casting processes, other than sand casting. Thank you.